Hello everyone, Kathleen from smartbusinessmom.com back again to go over how to install themes onto your WordPress website. So in our last video we installed WordPress onto our domain name and now when you log into your dashboard it's going to look something like this. Now in order to install a new theme, if you go to appearance and then themes, you're going to see three, maybe you'll have a couple more default themes that WordPress just gives you when you install it. Um, so some of these, will, some of these um, will work for you and maybe some won't. However, you can always add new themes, which I'm going to go over today. So the first theme I'm going to go over today is the theme that I personally like to use and that's the Genesis framework and then there are a couple different child themes that I like to use for my websites. So in order to do that I want you to go ahead and go to bit.ly slash SBM Genesis. So that stands for Smart Business Mom Genesis. Let's go ahead and click on that and that's going to take you to the Studio Press Premium WordPress Themes page. So now these are paid themes um, that you can use to for your WordPress site. I personally like Studio Press, and you can go ahead and if you want to have a little learn a little bit more about them, um, go through their Stu Studio Press 101, and they kind of explain to you what the framework is, what the themes are, why you should use them, which these are basically all the reasons why I use them. Um, some of the biggest ones are the mobile responsive designs, which is so important now for SEO and ranking in Google if you want to do any of that with your site, which I highly recommend that you do. If you're not ready to use a paid theme yet and you want to just go with something that's free, there are plenty of different options. If you go to add new under your themes tab here, and this will give you a whole bunch of different options to download free themes for your site. Now you could spend hours and hours going through different themes and I know I have in the past, <laughs> which is why I'm going to recommend to you the ones that I personally use so you don't have to do that. However, like I said, if you need to start with a free theme, please by all means go ahead and do it. If you're ready for a paid theme, which I do recommend, especially to look more professional, have that extra security optimization. I highly recommend Studio Press with the Genesis themes. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through that process. So now if you go ahead and go to shop our themes, there are quite a few different ones now that you can look through. So here's the basic framework. And if you go to the details and pricing, you'll be able to see this is just the basic framework. So this doesn't. This comes with a sample theme, um, which actually works very well. So if you wanted to just start with this Genesis framework, by all means, go ahead and do it. You can also see a live demo in any of these themes, just to give you an idea of what your site could look like. Now, if you're looking for something with a home page that isn't necessarily the blog, say you want to advertise for your business first and just have a tab up here with the blog. Um, some of the other ones I recommend are Digital Pro Theme is pretty good, um, Interior Pro, and Parallax Pro. I use this one for quite a few of my sites. Let's go ahead and see the live demo here. This is great because you can put your main message up here with a call to action right away so people are seeing it. It's very responsive. This is just a great layout for a home page when you're starting out. If you're selling something, connect with social media. And basically all these different sections are widgets that you can customize, which we'll get into later. 
So now since I've already purchased quite a few of these themes, I see I'm already logged in. Okay, so I'm gonna, just going to go to my studio press here and it's going to show me exactly, these are all the themes that I've already purchased. So once you go ahead and purchase a theme, now you can download. So I'm going to use the Parallax Pro for this website example. Go ahead and download that. And I'm going to go back to the website and click Upload Theme. Choose the file and open. Install. Ah, yes, okay, so I'm actually glad this happened. So now I'm going to go ahead. This is saying that the parent theme could not be found. You need to install the parent theme Genesis. So let me go back and do that. This was the one that was just right underneath here. I'm going to install Genesis. Return back to the theme so that is installed. Now I want to go back and do the actual theme. So the Genesis is the actual framework and then the theme. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we've got the Genesis, which we'll go ahead and activate. And then the Parallax Pro, which we'll also activate here. So now we're ready to customize our site, which you can do right here, or you can go in through Customize here. All right, so now we're in the Customize section, and here's what it look, looks like. So there isn't a whole lot of information on this site yet. I'm going to be building this site um, in these training videos so that you can see how it's done. But just to go through a couple different things, so the site identity is going to be the title, and that's what you see up here. And then if you want a tagline to show up, so this is I'm building this uh, new site for one of the lawyers that I know. Um, so her tagline is attorney at law. Another thing you can do is to, this is a site icon. So this is going to be, for instance, what shows up right here. So once she has her logo done, I would take something and put it in here so that this, so this is the studio press one, this is the WordPress. Um, not totally necessary, but it looks really great for branding and also makes you look very professional. Um, with this particular theme, there are a whole lot of different things we can go through, like say the background images you can go through and I'll change those to something more relevant to um, the law. And then the same with the header image. This is going to be what shows up here. Um, so you want to go ahead and add your own logo image. They recommend to do 360 by 70 pixels. Um, so that's pretty small, just so you know, can stay in this little section here. Menus, we don't have a menu set up yet. We'll go through that later. And then same with the widgets, um, the static front page. We'll go through all this good stuff later. The color theme now. Uh, for this particular one, you can do default blue, green, orange, pink. So if she wanted blue, then basically everything you can change just to see, and then it's not actually published until you hit save and publish. So if you just want to test out a couple different colors, see how it looks. So basically that's changing all of this, all these hyperlinks to blue. So 
site layout. So there are three different layouts that you can use. Full width content means that your content is going to go the full width of the page. If you have the content and then primary sidebar, I don't think she has anything set up yet for the sidebar, so that's going to look more like how my site, the blog is set up on my site right now. So that's going to look more like here's your content and then you have more information in this sidebar over here. It would then just be the opposite if you were to do primary sidebar and then content. That just means the sidebar widget area over here is going to be here, and then the content will be right here. Just like you see here. So that's basically how you set up your theme and then go in and start customizing it. Go ahead and just save and publish for now. So now you've got your theme, you're ready to customize it, add in some pictures, add in your copy, and I'll see you in the next video.